Hey guys, uh, you know, we, I, I sort of did this in reverse order. Um, yesterday we talked about bow drills and we did some things that were, um, that might be considered advanced with the bow. You know, we did our hand roll over pass. We were working on some eights and, you know, one handed. And then we did our, uh, our single hand uh, rolls back and forth. So that was kind of without any basic bow skill, just to, to, to learn some drills. I think it's totally fine. Uh, but I want to do like a companion video right now, which will be bow basics. I'm going to look at four moves. We're going to do an overhead smash, a thrust, a helicopter blade, and the dragon's tail uh, scoop. And if you if you know those four basic moves and you have just good hard style basics in general, like strong stances and eye contact and you know intensity and all that kind of stuff, um, then you can actually put together some uh, pretty neat uh, bow combinations and just kind of be ready to do anything you need to do with the bow. So we did the drills, now we're doing basics. Kind of a weird order to go in, but that's, that will be fine. Um, I said yesterday, uh, you don't need a bow staff, and that is true. So I thought I'd show you today the, uh, the broom handle, okay, broom handle. Uh, nice thing about broom handles is really good size. A real bow should be about here, should be about as tall as you. Uh, indoors, often that's not really practicable. So instead of doing a you know uh, six foot bow, which would be a little bit over my head, um, I have this way down here. And that way you can do all the same manipulations, but you don't have to worry about hitting the ceiling or lights or anything like that. Okay, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is an overhead smash. I'm gonna try to angle you down a little. Phone might fall, but let's try to balance it. Okay, so I want you to see that my fist is coming to the belt and we're not gonna do legs right now, so just arms. I'm gonna extend my right hand and put my left hand palm in on the belt. And then what I'm gonna try to do here is to row a boat. And it's like a, a kayak, right, where you have a paddle that goes in the water on the left side with the left hand and a paddle that goes in the water on the right side with the right hand. So I'm, I'm paddling my boat. I've got, you know, I guess if you're, if you're kayaking, you might be sort of like double overhand. We've got over under grip, but still you get the analogy. I'm not a, uh, a much of a kayaker, I guess, but um, you get the idea. And the, the reason you want to picture that is so you don't go across your body, right? Like you, you probably wouldn't take this paddle and need to put it in the water over on this side, right? You know, usually you, you keep this paddle on this side and you keep this paddle on this side. So that's what you're doing um, here. With other moves, you will cross your body. So that's, that's how we uh, try to not be confused with this move is we're gonna do this overhand smash. We're rowing that little boat and we're in the middle of it and we don't wanna cross our bodies, all right? So uh, notice that I reach uh, out with my left and then down with my right and there's a reason for that we're not just doing this of course this would be weaker um, but there's a there's sort of a, a hidden meaning in uh, in this overhead smash and a lot of people kind of really like that ooh, the little hidden application stuff so let me show you what's actually happening in this move is that it, as you bring the left hand off the belt you're actually blocking and this is a little harder to visualize but as you bring the left hand back down, you're using this non-striking end to strip your opponent's weapon. So imagine I had blocked your bow, and then I had put this between your hand and your weapon and stripped it. And then as I strip it, boom, I'm coming down to hit you with that other end. So I'm, I'm imagine maybe you're thrusting in at me, I'm blocking it, disarming you, striking you, but it's actually just one, one fluid motion overhand smash. I'll give you one more point on this overhand smash and that is that your palm needs to be down and that is true of all bow strikes that you don't want to strike uh, toward a thing that will force the, the staff out of the weak part of your grip, right? Like the, the weak part of your grip is always where your thumbs and fingers come together. That's like a, a door, right? You know here there's no door there so no matter how hard you push Nothing's gonna go through your, your hand and come out the other side. So as long as I have my palm facing the thing I wanna hit, boom, here, 
then I'm going to be solid in maintaining my grip, okay? So you've got your three-part block, strip, strike down with the palm facing down, which, which causes you to have to sort of roll your hand over, do a little like internal rotation of the, of the shoulder joint to get that to work, all right? Overhead smash. Cool. Okay, so thrust is our next move. What we're going to do is we're going to pull back until the left arm is straight, okay? And then we're going to thrust forward and punch the bow in. And what I want is to get this right up into my underarm and clamp down on it. All right, so I'm back and boom, here, and clamping down on it. Whoops, it's a little... All right, so don't do... What we learned is don't do with a dirty slash rusty slash gross uh, mop uh, screw with a white uniform top. That does not work so well. So try to keep that away from your uniform. Okay, you're here. Pull back and thrust. Pull back and thrust. And just like your punch twists, this thrusting technique will also twist right on the end. So you see a lot of your power concepts that translate from empty hand to your weapons training. Now we combine our two overhead smash, fist on the belt, thrust, uh, clamping down. Smash, thrust. Smash, thrust. With the bow, usually you don't switch sides, right? Like you, if we're doing a bow form, it's not like you would do that over here and then you would have to switch your grip and do it over here. Um, any bow form that I've seen is going to be, is going to pick a dominant uh, side and do everything with that side sort of being operative. That doesn't mean you can't hit with the other side, it just means you're not going to switch your grip a lot, all right? So you're practicing that, you're practicing your smash and your thrust. And next up we're going to have helicopter blade. So helicopter blade up over the top, all right, up over the top like this. I'm reaching up, I haven't changed my grip, and I'm going to take my left hand and put it in my right underarm, and you see how that causes rotation to come around. So really what I'm doing here is I'm chopping with my bow, and now my palm needs to be out so I don't disarm myself. Here, and you can't just, uh, like you can't just go like this, right? Because look how tiny that range of motion is. I've got to come over my head and then hug that body and come across. So let's put it all together. Smash, thrust, helicopter blade. Ready, smash, thrust, helicopter blade. Okay, we're gonna take that right hand, we're gonna come up and back like you've got a softball and you are scooping it upward, curling your wrist in at the end. This is like the opposite of the overhead smash. If I'm rowing my boat this way, I find myself in uh, Alligator Central, I go, uh-oh, I wanna get out of here, and I'm gonna start to row back, right? And so what we call, we call this the dragon's tail as it scoops upward, and we'll put a little flick of the wrist right on the end there. Ooh. Could be an uppercut, could be a foot sweep could be disarming somebody once again. The coolest thing I heard about this is, is you are scooping sand off the ground into your opponent's eyes. Probably not, but uh, I, I, like, uh, I like to imagine that. Kids like that one. Um, so then you have all of them. So we're gonna overhead smash, we're gonna thrust, we're gonna helicopter blade, and then we're gonna reach back and down and scoop upward, curling in. And that, that last move is the only one where both arms are gonna be bent at the end, right? So that first one, right arm locks out, second one locks out, third one locks out. But that fourth one, we're bent uh, with both. Okay, you've got that, you've got your drills from yesterday, now you can start doing stuff like this, like, you know, <sighs> right? Or I can, you know, I could be here, uh, what would be a good combination? Or if, or like if I'm doing my eight, and I could land in that overhead smash, uh, for example. Or I could be here, right, getting my hand roll over pass, right, roll over into the thrust, 
So there's cool stuff you can do messing around with that. I'm at the 10 minute mark, folks. All right, train hard.